welcome back to the channel babes <laughs> I'm in a British mood. I've been in a British mood for a hot minute and I have to laugh because I just made this video on TikTok like a couple days ago and it's a trending sound now and it's me and my British accent. Oh, I remember the days when I used to get all of the are you from England questions? No, I just literally love talking in a British accent. Anyways, this is all beside the point. Today, we are back again with another little haul. This is very different than the typical hauls that I do because we are talking about shoes. And the kind of shoes we're talking about in particular are ugly. So if you look across any social media platform, you know that Uggs are having their moment right now with all of the ugly ass shoes that they have come up with. And uh, I figured, why not try them on for you all so that you don't have to try them on and give you all my honest opinion of what I think and whether I will be keeping a pair of these ugly shoes or not. So we're hoping to see if these are so ugly they're cute or if they're just ugly in returns. So today in this video, I'm going to be doing two outfits for you all, which are my main fall uniforms that I wear every single day, like 90% of the time in the fall, and see if these shoes work with the things that I wear most often. So, let's get into this. See, I wasn't kidding when I said I ordered every single pair of ugly shoes I could find. Okay, numero uno. I figured let's start with the most infamous of all the Ugg shoes, and these are called the Tasmans. You have seen almost every single model rock these for their off the runway looks. Gigi Hadid, Kendall Jenner, like literally everybody and their mother is obsessed with these. And last season they were hella sold out and I'm sure the same is gonna happen again this year because I've been seeing so many people talk about how much they are obsessed with them. So right off the bat, the quality is amazing. I love Uggs, so like don't get me wrong when I say let's try on ugly shoes. I absolutely love Uggs. I own, I don't know, probably six pair of slippers and actual shoes from the brand. So I ordered the Tasman in this like olive green color and then it has this detailing on the, um, I don't even know what this is called, like the opening that's kind of like a gray and orange and brown color. I really love how neutral this looks and I feel like this will go really well with both jeans and with the outfit that I have on right now, which is my favorite monochromatic neutral look. Sweats and this top from Aritzia. So let's try these on and I will tell you all if I think they look cute or not. <laughs> I'm so surprised. <laughs> I actually really love them. They're hella comfortable. I think Obviously, that's what you're gonna get with Uggs is that you're going to get some serious comfort. But what's so cute and fun about them is that they are in that so ugly they're cute category, but they literally just look so good. They actually look, I think, so much better in person than they do in pictures, but they're really, really comfortable. I feel like they're gonna go so well with everything, especially if you're a person who is like me and you really are like more of a casual vibe kind of person. Um, I definitely love to rock my athleisure wear. I love to wear like just basics and be cozy and lounge like in the house. And these are like an elevated version of their slippers. Love, love, love. And I really love this color too. I also bought this in their classic camel color. So I'm curious to see which color I will like better, but right off the bat, I can already tell you, I am probably keeping these. So now that I've changed into the second outfit, which is just a graphic tee and jeans, I will say I love the way they look with both, but in looking at them, I actually think that the classic camel color probably goes better with everything in my wardrobe than this olive green does. I really, really like the green color a lot. I like that they're different than what I've been seeing everyone wear and that they're still kind of neutral, but I don't feel like they go as well with jeans. They go super well with the first outfit, the all cream sweat look, but in terms of how they look with the jeans and a black tee, I don't love it as much. There's not as much of a pop, but I've got a dilemma because I like them both for very different reasons and I need to decide which pair I'm going to keep because I for sure know one of these two are gonna be staying home with me because they're so comfortable. And they're perfect for like lounging around the house. They're definitely in the slipper category, but they also can be worn outside. And then um, the bottom has a bunch of amazing grip as well. So we got some decisions to make. 
let's go on to the next shoe. Okay, getting into what I think is probably arguably the most ugly of all of the shoes are the Tasman Claws. I don't know how I feel about these, but they are definitely giving croc meets clog kind of vibe without the aeration. And I like that the sock is removable. I ordered these in two colors. I ordered them in this really vibrant pink color since we all know that Barbiecore is having its moment right now. And everybody is obsessed with anything in this bright pink color right now. So let's try these on and I'll tell you all what I think. So I'm a little bit out of breath because these are really hard to put on. Since there's no stretch to these like the other shoes are and they are like a more hard style shoe, they're made out of rubber rather than out of the um, shirling or sheer that the other <laughs> shoes are made out of, they're definitely much harder to put on. And they also have a sock inside of them and the sock makes it even more difficult too. Um, do you remember when you were a little kid and you would wear your snow boots and your sock, like the, the lining part of the boot would get stuck and it would be really hard to get it to be perfect after you put it on. That's kind of how these are. Honestly, I really love the bright pink color. I think it's super cute. I'm very perplexed because I think they're kind of cute, but I also think they're hella ugly at the same time. These are actually pretty comfortable. I would consider these more of like gardening shoes, work shoes. If you live in an area where you do get a lot of snow, it is nice because these are 100% waterproof and that could be a great option for you if you were thinking about adding a waterproof clog to your collection. Okay, I also ordered these clogs in the green color, um, the same olive green as the first pair because I wanted to pick like a vibrant color and then a neutral color for this style in particular. So let's see what we think. This is definitely very much so giving I work at Home Depot or I like work out in the gardens every single day. Like the color is too earthy for this style of shoe because it just feels so much more like a workman's shoe than it does like something that's fun and trendy. So 100% recommend the pink over the olive. Do I like these enough to keep them? Not sure. I have to check on what the price point is of these because I do like that they're waterproof and that the sock is removable and they might be comfortable and great for walking the pups and stuff like that in cold weather. So I gotta think on that. Okay, up next we have another clog. This is the Maxi Clog and it's kind of your more traditional snow boot style. I think these are cute. I got them in black and then I also got them in the other color that they have online, which is like this space gray metallic-y kind of color. Okay, first impressions. They are so much easier to put on than the Tasman Waterproof. They are just so spacious. However, I will say, I don't know, they, they're really puffy. So they feel kind of like a moon boot, but a more subdued moon boot, if that makes sense. Don't know that I love them. Not sure that I would keep them. But again, if I'm thinking about practicality of a shoe that I wanna wear for fall or winter or cold weather to walk the dogs, both the Tasman and the Maxi fit into that category very, very well for me. So that's why there's the hesitation of deciding of whether I would keep these or not. With the metallic jacket that I have on, it's very much so giving Xenon the Zequel is on her way to space and I love it. I am obsessed with the metallic ones, which I'm super surprised by. I will say I'm kind of contemplating whether I wanna order a different pair that they have in the same exact version but they come in like a little bit of a higher boot so it's like more of a waterproof style like mini boot so it's not all the way up to your mid shaft but it is a little bit higher than these ones in particular just because i think for winter that might be a little bit better for me and my style and i also think these would be hella cute on the slopes with the jacket as well i think they're interesting they definitely feel like a little bit of a mini moon boot kind of style shoe but they're really comfortable <laughs> they're really comfortable super fun super fresh kind of like them a lot <laughs> All right, our last style of shoe is called the Sport Yeah Clog. These are, again, more of a waterproof style clog. Oh my God, I don't know what to think. <laughs> Let's try them on. Holy <laughs> these are so comfortable. <laughs> it literally feels like you are walking on a cloud. <laughs> they are 
so so comfortable the most comfortable of every single pair that i have tried on today yeah i don't know what i think about in terms of how they look but they are super super comfortable this blue color actually matches really well with my jeans so it does feel like it's a little more of a neutral style look i'm interested to see how it's going to look on with my sweatpants and my aritzia top 10 out of 10 obsessed definitely recommend you could walk miles and miles and miles in these now would you want to because they're not super stylish i don't know i haven't determined whether i think they're cool or if they're just in the ugly ugly category but the comfort 10 out of 10. because the shoe is designed to really snug your foot so well i actually think these would be a really good water shoe so if you were looking for like a sports water shoe or you're going to be like out in you know doing the water thing these might actually be really cute and fun for that kind of activity is it practical maybe not maybe an actual water shoe might be better but in thinking about it and where i could potentially wear it i do like that it would be a good option all right that is it for this haul <laughs> we have gone through all of the different ugly ug shoes that i purchased and i definitely have a number one winner which were the tasman slippers in the og camel color definite keepers for me, myself, and I. <laughs> Everything will be linked in the description box for you all, and if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments for me as well. All right, that's it, and I will see you in the next one.